the Note Edge takes the latest and greatest and the best of the Note 4, and it puts into a, a second display. So you can do anything you want on your primary screen. You can watch movies, you can write notes, you can browse the web, and while you're doing that, you can be doing something completely different on the side here. What's great about the Note Edge is it's actually application developed just for this panel. So this is a game that is played 100% on the side. It's a little memory match game. And there's games like this. There's a game called Tiny Words, kind of like a Scrabble. And you're going to see these kind of things continue to come out as developers get more and more on board because it is an open developer kit. The other great thing about the Edge is it can be a tracker. It can be a sports tracker. It can be a news tracker. It can be a a stock tracker, you can get all this information will slide, and it's also your controller. So while I'm over here writing notes on the main screen and listening to music at the same time that I'm taking my notes, I can be controlling that music 100% through that edge display. Play, pause, fast forward, rewind, everything. So these are two different apps. If you go into one of the main apps, like the camera, the edge becomes a, an extension of that application. So in the camera, you see all my controls are on top here. So as I go in a sideways view and I'm holding it one-handed, it becomes like a shutter button, and I can take pictures just by tapping right here at the top. And you'll see the same thing with the video player and the media player. So the Note Edge takes multitasking to a new level, and it allows you to really see what the next big thing is. If you're, like, if, you're full, if you're a lefty, you just check that box. It's a variant. Make sure it's turned on. It is. And then you can actually flip it. The whole device uh, will rotate 180 degrees. Okay. So as a lefty, I can also use it. That'd be cool. Or if you're a righty and you just don't want the screen gets in your way, you can use it like this. You can't use your button screen up top. As long as you can do that, you can use it 100% up to down. Or move it back to normal. Industries together. Users can enjoy safety and convenience in their daily lives, and businesses will be provided with new opportunities. No, so right here you've got our Note Edge, very similar to our Note 4. You get all the high-end specifications that are on the Note 4 with the additional Edge screen. So it's basically like having two screens on one. There's no separation, but it does work independently. What I'm flipping through right now are our Edge panels. You can actually have up to seven programmed on the phone, but you actually have 20 to choose from. You go under settings, you go to manage panels, and this is actually where you will find all the panels to choose. If you want to download some more, there's extra right here. Currently, like I said, there's a little over 20. We're hoping more developers will develop, and it is an open source platform right now. So within the panels, you can actually select your favorites, things that you like to view and that you want. You've got your favorite applications right here. Uh, let's say you follow stocks, you can select certain stocks to get a ticker scroll through. Favorite sports teams, you can select your NFL sports. And these are powered by Yahoo. And then you also have a CNN. So once you're done, you hit back, it automatically saves it. You go back to the home screen, and everything that you've selected will now load up. So if you want to flip through, and does that as well. In addition to the applications and um, the, the scroller, the ticker scrollers, you actually get some of your notifications like a call and text message. So let's say you were watching a movie on your device or uh, surfing the web. If someone calls you, it'll pop up right here so it won't interrupt what you're doing. And the same thing with a uh, text message. It'll actually scroll through right there, you can get a brief read of it, and if you want to open it, you open it, it'll pop up onto the screen. So that's really the main difference between this and our Note 4 and what sets it apart. Honestly, I, you know, I think it's a great device. I do like how you know, it operates with my phone. It's very smooth. It's not jittery. It's not buggy or anything like that.